The following program has been generously funded by the Patterson Foundation. everyone, welcome to This Book is Cool. My name is Beth Duda and I'm the director of the Suncoast Campaign for Grade Level Reading. And we are delighted that you're joining us today to learn about a very cool book. Fish is Fish. We have a guest who's going to share with us all of the reasons why he thinks this book is cool. Today we have with us Ben Tolufson. We're delighted to have you and very excited to talk about the book Fish is Fish. Oh great, I love that book. I do too. So <laughs> can you share with me one of the things that you really enjoy about the book? Well first off, the thing that I really loved was just it's so cool to see the the life cycle of a frog. Like seeing the tadpole transform into a frog. I just and it's just part of the story. I just think that was just so cool to me. It's just, just an integral part of the story, but it was just such a, a beautiful, beautiful way to sort of how show people grow. And, and that was really wonderful. I like that too. And I remember when I was a child, actually being able to see a, a tadpole grow legs and lose its tail and transform into a frog. And it seemed magical. Yeah, it is pretty magical, I think. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really, really neat that that tiny little tadpole becomes a frog. It's just really cool. Now, you mentioned that, you know, in the very beginning, the fish and the tadpole were very similar, and then they grow. So how, how did that affect you as you were reading the story? Well, I thought it was really, I thought it was really cool about how they both, you know, live in water. Like at first they almost seemed the same, like the tadpole and the fish, you could hardly tell the difference. And then as they kept growing, you know, the fish would get a little larger, but the tadpole was growing legs and then arms. And it was just neat to see that how they, that just as they grew, so did their differences. But, you know, the frogs can then breathe out of the wine, out of the water, you know, but the fish is meanwhile still, it's a fish. That's right. Fish is fish. Yeah, yeah. fish is fish. So as they grew, their differences grew also. But they were able to stay friends, which was something that was so special about this, is like, as we grow and, and, and our experiences change, like our friends are still, you know, our friends. And that's what I think is such a special, special thing. And that friendship is something that we really get a chance to experience in the book. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Because as the frog leaves the pond and experiences the world, the, the fish stays in one place, mm -hmm. but then the frog comes back and is able to, to tell the fish about some of the experiences he's had out in, in the world. But that part of the book is kind of funny. I love that part. This is a, it's so fun. I think it's so fun to see how a fish's imagination works, you know, like, or this is the way that this, this author thinks about how the fish's imagination works, that, that everything outside of the outside of the pond still looks just like a fish. You know, everyone looks just like a fish. And even the birds with the wings illustrations, it's just so beautiful. Like, a, a really, it's really just a fun, it's so funny to think about that's how a fish's mind works. They just never see anything else. So that's, that's where they, that's all they can imagine. You know? That's right. So the, the frog has gone out in the world and seen all of these different things, cows and uh, uh, other animals. I, I'm going to see if I can find the illustration that really gives that, here it is. So the frog is explaining to the fish about a cow. And <laughs> I love that. As the fish is imagining what a cow must look like, it still in the fish's imagination looks like a cow. Yeah, that was so, so clever. Sorry, like a fish. It still looks <laughs> yeah, like, like a fish. A fish, yeah. a fish cow. Yes. <laughs> that is very funny. So the book also at the very end is kind of touching. It, it gave me a, a kind of a, a warm feeling. Um, can, you, can you describe why that, that might be? 
Yeah, I think for, you know, for me, I got a warm feeling as well, but I think it was because, you know, friendship really saves the day. You know, it was like the, the fish's old friend frog comes back and helps save him out of the pond, you know, and that's just one of those things that made me think of my friends and, and how, you know, we help each other out and how everybody, you know, that's one of the beautiful things about friendship is, is you know, that we're there for each other, you know, a long time and then sometimes we're not there for a while and then you're back when we need each other. And I just think that's a really special, special thing about friendship that it can kind of ebb and flow like little tides of a pond. I think that's a really good point. And, and I'm, I'm hoping that us kind of talking about how the frog saves the day, but not really explaining exactly what happens, I'm hoping that will make people want to read this book because I think it's worth the time. To I absolutely, yes. Sit down and, and share the story and maybe even to be able to share the story with a friend because it really shows the importance of friendship. And that'd be, you know, that's a beautiful thing. And I, I think there's something I really love about this is that it also, the fish learns to, as the frog goes away, he learns to appreciate the beauty of his own underwater home. I think there's a little element of that too that keeps the, their friendship, even though the, the fish at first wants to be something else or be somewhere else, then he realizes this is, this is his home and his home is beautiful. And it's really, I love the description of how, what it feels like when he gets back with the water in his gills and that part is really, it was like, that's what it feels like to be a fish. You know, I thought that was <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think the, the book's author, Leo Leone, did a great job of imagining what it must be like to be a fish and, and able to put that in, into a book that makes me want to read this story, but it also makes me want to read other stories that show us how other characters might, might be feeling. So I, I think uh, Fish is Fish is definitely a cool book. Yeah, it's such a cool book. I, I love that book. And I think your suggestion of trying to read it with a friend, I think that's just a really fun way to talk about it. And, you know, you can even take turns reading each different parts or something like that or doing it over Zoom or, or one of the, you know, FaceTime kind of things. And, and that there's a chance to still be able to read with your friends, even though, you know, we may not be in the same room right now. You know, so that's one of those really special, special things we have right now in the modern world. So. I'm so grateful that you came to share your ideas with us today over Zoom. So thank you so much. Thanks for sharing Fish's Fish with us. Oh, well, thank you so much for having me. And everybody out there, have a lot of fun reading. There's so many great books out there, and this is a great time to find them. So I'm, I'm hope this one turns you on to other books that are going to be just as much fun and seeing all the imaginations of these amazing writers and illustrators, and maybe you'll write your own book or all kinds of things like that. So, you know, good luck. Fantastic. Thank you, Ben. Bye-bye. It was so much fun to talk to Ben about the book Fish is Fish. I love how enthusiastic he is about reading, and I loved his ideas about sharing this book with a friend over Zoom, or one friend reading one part of the book and another friend reading another part of the book. And did you hear us suggest that we might even write a book of our own? Wouldn't that be fun? Fish is Fish also has some terrific words for us to add to our word bank. One of the words that we can add to our word bank is the word inseparable. That's a long word, inseparable. Inseparable means that you're always together, that you can't stand to be apart or separate. Another word from the book Fish is Fish for our word bank is the word triumphantly. That's a really fun word, triumphantly. Triumphantly means doing something in a proud or celebratory way. So triumphantly coming back into the town or triumphantly announcing that you've won a prize. The word extraordinary is a great word for our word bank. Extraordinary means going beyond what is usual, to exceed a goal to be extraordinary, extraordinary. Another word for our word bank from Fish is Fish is the word mysteriously. Mysteriously means unknown or a hard to understand manner, mysteriously. Impatiently is a word for our word bank. Impatiently means not willing to wait. 
If you're impatient, it means you want it right now. So impatiently means not willing to wait. And the final word from Fish is Fish for our word bank is the word feebly. Feebly means lacking strength or being weak. So if you feebly talk, you're talking with no energy, just kind of feebly. We have a great suggestion for an activity from the book Fish is Fish. We think it would be great for you to imagine how the fish imagines different animals. We have an example here. This is a picture of a fish that kind of has a cow body and bird legs and horns. You could create your own kind of fish. You might give it the body of a bird, or you might add hooves, or you might add fur. Whatever you think would be fun to create a fish that was a whole bunch of different animal parts. We hope you'll create one of these and send it to us. We'd love to see a picture that you've created. You can send it to us by emailing it to connect at gradelevelreadingsuncoast.net. We'd also love for you to come up with your own episode of This Book is Cool. You can share your ideas with us about a book that you love. Give us three or four reasons why you think that book is cool. Share some words that we could put in our word bank. And maybe you could even think of an activity that we could do that goes with the book. You could even interview your mom or dad or brother or sister or one of your friends to be your special guest on your very own episode of This Book is Cool. You can email us your episode of This Book is Cool by sending it to connect at gradelevelreadingsuncoast.net. I'm so grateful that Ben spent some time with us today sharing why he thinks Fish is Fish is such a cool book. And I can't wait for you to read it so that you too can think this book is cool. Remember, reading is the key to succeeding. I hope to see you again very soon. Thanks. Bye.